George R. R. Martin is one of my favourite internet punching bags, and it's always interesting whenever I talk about him, I get the fanboys in my comments. And uh, I just want to say I am actually a fan, and you can criticise the media you consume. My name is William James, I host The Bald Book Geek, and if you want exclusive access to content, consider becoming a member on this channel or joining my Patreon, because why not at this point? I also do uncensored content on there. Let's get on with the show. To quote George R. Martin, and I found this on the Culture Cave on Twitter, everywhere you look, there are more screenwriters and producers eager to take on stories and make them their own, air quotes. It does not seem to matter whether the source material is written by Stan Lee, Ian Fleming, Ronald Dole, George R. Uh, J. R. R. Tolkien, Mark Twain, Jane Austen, or well, anyone. No matter how major a writer is, no matter how great the book is, there always seems to be someone on hand who thinks they can do better, eager to take on a story and, air quotes, improve upon it. The book is the book, and the film is the film, air quotes. They will tell you as if they're saying something profound. Then they make, a, then they make the story their own. They never make it better, though. Nine... 199 times out of a thousand they make it worse and George is a hundred percent correct in this statement but someone on Twitter a friend of mine pointed out something George is full of SHIT now that the culture war is going in a different direction he is attempting to save face F him and the trampoline he wiggles on and I have to agree George has let producers and people change his work he has given in to producers and basically washed his hands in the final seasons of Game of Thrones. And why I will say it, the final season was not my favourite, the one thing that bugged me about it the most was how rushed it all felt. It was point A, point B, point C, back to point A. There was never breathing room. And I know the stakes were high, but sometimes you need character development, story development, and many other things to actually push the narrative. It's not just fly from A to B, quite literally in this case. George R. R. Martin is fully aware that there is a major shift in what's going on. People are forcing back against the beloved stories being destroyed by people who don't understand them. Look at how look at the rings of power. While The House of the Dragon is a phenomenal show, despite the changes, Rings of Power proves that. Making a story your own and self-inserting your own one of the writers and people behind it as one of the main characters and fundamentally changing them to fit a narrative you want to push, it's clearly failed. The numbers did not meet expectations and only 30-something percent of the audience continued to watch to the end. The only reason we're getting more Game of Thrones content is quite literally a contract. Amazon will have to pay to leave it. They have to make this show. And I have to remind people of that countless times. It's not getting renewed. Let's be honest. A Song of, How a Song of the Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin is a huge series. The last completed novel was A Dance of Dragons in 2011. The Winds of Winter and The Dream of Spring are still TBD. There is a problem here. George is desperately trying to play both sides of the of the cards, both sides of the media, both sides of the fan base. If people are changing his work and he's being paid, he's quite happy with it. But it's interesting his reaction to this. Ultimately, I do agree with him, but I do feel like it's a little bit pop kettle black, and it does feel a little bit disjointed. I'm a huge fan of those books, and I've read nearly everything that man has written, minus a handful of offshoots, which I do actually own and I need to sit down and write, read. He can be a phenomenal writer. Many people take great offence to when I've discussed themes of his work, such as nihilism and in other videos, and even talks about he will never finish the book which were all subjective videos and a what-if theory rather than an actual fact. But people can't actually leave comments that are intelligent and instead insult you. Those people are fun. I think George needs to focus on what he needs to focus on. Instead of endless spin-offs and endless new books, why not just create 
focus on what needs to be done. We don't want more history books, we just want the end of the story. And while it does sound entitled, there have been countless release dates for The Winds of Winter, and that is an understatement of the year. Absolutely countless release dates. At this point, and I say this with full honesty, how many times has he said the book is coming out? I would be a lot kinder if he just said, I don't know what's happening with it, I'm trying to do my best, and we'll see what happens. But endless release dates and endless broken promises do wear very thin, and now hype seems to be building again. Will these books live up to the hype that seems to be created around the new work? I do think he needs to focus on creating his own novels and focus on his own work, rather than doing what he always does, which seems to be endless blog posts, calling out people online, and lacking a little bit of self-awareness. When you look at his bibliography, it's quite massive. And yet, outside of The Winds of Winter and, the Dream, and A Dream of Spring, you have Blood and Fire, The She-Walls of Winterfell, The Village Hero, The Cell, Short, the Cell Swords, however you pronounce that, the Champion, the King's Guard, and the Lone Commander, all novellas that he's working on. So on top of those, coming out, you have quite a lot of books, let's be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. Nine. I get that these series are big, but when you have nine books coming, it does leave me with a little hope that we'll ever actually get the final books. And I get it. His world building is fantastic. The world he created is amazing. It's brutal. It's dark. It's brilliantly constructed. I fell in love with that world. The low fantasy, the the under the underlying currents of darkness that run through it. So I do wonder what will happen next. And I will say this, he's a phenomenal writer, but I do feel like there's too many projects at once and there's too much stuff happening. Let's focus on what you need to create and what's happening and let's just focus on your work. But stop trying to play both sides of the equation and both sides of this stupid culture war crap that's going on right now. We're all sick of the stuff we're all sick of our beloved stories being destroyed and the, the mockery of Tolkien that Amazon created, for example, or Netflix, The Witcher, and so on. Yet, you have to admit, George, that you have been a little guilty of this yourself and letting producers overtake your work. I will leave this here. Tell me what you think in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Bye.